So here's one. Probably that car in front of me. Nah. The red tail boa was insane. Here I am back at Philly International. I'm heading down to Miami. I have a business mastermind at the end of the week, but I'm going to head out Monday, try to find some animals Monday and perhaps Tuesday, and then get on with building my business so that I can keep, keep taking more of these trips. Stay tuned and hopefully we'll find some good things. I'm outside of my hotel right now. Is we're gonna keep a count on the invasive versus natural herp species. It's like 95 degrees out right now. Probably find some invasives here because South Florida is like a zoo. I honestly don't know what this is. Oh, it's a curly tail. Okay, there's one invasive. You see how it curl its tail? We have invasives one, naturals zero. Spoiler alert, there's a gamma's all over this property. So I'm just gonna try and get this on film and knock this one out. I've seen a few females, but I'm gonna try and find a good looking male. I am gay for herps. What? What the fuck? There we go. They look like a toy, don't they? Now I literally just saw these in Uganda where they belong and here about them back in Florida. Invasive species. Oh, and I think that's a female right there. Uh, we got invasives, two, naturals, goose egg. I've been out here for five minutes and I'm dying already. The last week in Pennsylvania has been nice and like autumn-like and now here I am back in the dog days of summer. Invasive number three, brown and old, Cuban brown and old. It is three to zero. There we go, we have a racer. That's our first native, Everglades racer. Three to one. We're on the board as the thunder's rolling in. Look at that gator being number two. I just saw three. There he is, green and old. You see him? That's three. We have a tie game now that I'm in a more natural habitat. If I can find a turtle out here, I could take the lead on the naturals. All right, so we survived. Three to three, invasive versus natural. Let's see what we can cruise up. It rained here. I don't know if that'll be good or bad. Getting about that time. A few moments later. This guy looks hit. Probably that car in front of me. Son of a... Nah. You know what's nuts? Like, I've been cruising like 30 miles and I've seen one car and that one car in front of me hit the only snake on the road. But the roads are empty, so maybe some snakes will come out. All right, good. Very nice corn snake. Very pretty. We're on the board. So that's four natives against three invasives. We're doing well. But even crazier, like five minutes after I just made that last segment about how I hadn't seen a car or a snake since the one of the first car hit, that's the second snake and the second car I've seen in like 35 miles. Check this dude out. Look at you. You're pretty good. Wait, 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 wait. Very nice cop mouth. What are you doing? All right, stuff's starting to show up. Now we just need that Brooks King and I can never come back to Florida. I'm gonna look for the crocodiles. We'll see how this goes as far as like how many bugs there are. So here's one. You cannot be fooled with complacency with these guys. He would just drag me into this water and I would be gone forever and nobody would even know what happened to me. That is why I am up here. Some geckos in here. But... All right, I gotta go. These bugs are just way too bad. I'm getting eaten alive. Just like a southern toad sitting up on this rock. A Cuban tree frog. It's the morning, I'm gonna do a hike for like maybe an hour and a half, two hours before it gets too hot. See if I can luck out. One snake would make me happy. So yeah, this morning was brutal. You get out of the car to hike and you think it's okay and you get about a minute down the trail and the mosquitoes find you and annihilation. <laughs> so I just got an invite from Tom Crutchfield to come over and check out his facility and I don't have to meet my business partner for two, two and a half hours. So why not, right?
crazy. I just saw one of these in the wild a few weeks ago. My favorite snake I've ever found. Hey, doggies. Is that a needy dog or what? <laughs> Spoiled. First snakes of cotton. Oh, that is a pretty one. Dude, that's a gorgeous one. I'm all alone. <laughs> Dude, she looks so sad. One eternity later. I did not expect that. We did look for snakes and we had an amazing night. I'm horribly underprepared and the mosquitoes are just atrocious out here. I had the snake in here, in here, locked all night. How in the f did it end up here? I was just like shitting myself. We found this guy last night. Uh, this wasn't in the park, for the record. I'm gonna figure out what to do with him because he does not belong here. I'm gonna call a few friends and see if there's anybody who would like to take him. I wanna get him back in my bag, but he's like being pissy. Did you hear that hiss? 